Hi, I want to tell you about our new book, Hiatal Hernia Syndrome. This is a book that literally was decades in the making. It's the only book of its kind because truly here at Root Cause Medical Clinic, we are the only ones that truly understand this as a syndrome. And I don't say that at all egotistically, but statistics bear out. Most doctors that patients go to have no idea what's wrong with them. There's 20 different symptoms. Not all of them are on here. There wasn't room, but there's 20 different symptoms underlying hiatal hernia syndrome that when you realize it's a, it's a stomach pushing up on diaphragm and getting in a position that anatomically it shouldn't be in, one would think all the symptoms related would be digestive and what conventional medicine says it's basically acid reflux and that's about it. Um, or when it gets really serious, uh, you're not digesting any of your food and that's when it's a surgical intervention, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about mild to moderate hiatal hernias that can literally ruin a person's life, uh, cause them to be housebound, highly anxious, having heart palpitations, panic attacks, and, and really that's how the story began. But before I continue that story, I want to invite you to a very special event, which is my live book signing that you can also attend remotely, but it's Saturday, December 4th, so it's the Saturday after Thanksgiving. And it's going to be live in the town where our California clinic is, Saratoga. And uh, when you buy a ticket, you also get a, a, a signed book. So that's included in the price of the ticket. But whether you're remote or local, local, of course, join us. Uh, seating is limited, so tickets are limited. If you're remote, please tell others about it. and. You can be there remotely and, and it will be almost as good, minus, minus the food. But um, you will learn a lot because what I love about what we do here at Root Cause Medical Clinic is that we're always learning, we're always growing because we're working with patients and we're solving problems better as we learn more. So uh, I will also be uh, talking so my lecture will occur Dr. Rupa Chakravarti who's at the back of the book uh, she is our doctor of physical therapy in California she's been doing extensive work on this and when she first came to see us she knew nothing about it um, but as we've seen more patients and there is a physical aspect of this she has branched into a whole new area that is not included in the book because she just didn't have enough data yet when, when we wrote it, but uh, she'll be presenting. The information is so interesting to the physical therapy community that she's been asked to speak at an upcoming conference of theirs. So you will literally be getting information from her hot off the press, even before the press, because it hasn't even been officially presented yet. She, um, that's upcoming next year. So this will be live, of course. You can ask all your questions, whether you're remote or in person, and really learn so much about this, because the truth of the matter is that if you don't suffer from this problem, undoubtedly you know somebody who does and that might sound like an overestimation but this problem is so pervasive that people are suffering who don't know they're suffering um, because acid reflux is, is such a common symptom and it's the symptom that um, you know when this stomach pushes up and squirts its acid upward, you know, that is a very obvious symptom. You have heartburn, you have uh, acid reflux, you have GERD, um, and it, it often sort of branches off from that. But a lot of people don't have that problem, or the acid is so subtly creeping up their esophagus, they don't even know that they have acid reflux. But they're short of breath, they have heart palpitations, they have panic attacks, they they can't digest, they're bloated. I mean, again, 20 different symptoms associated with this that are affecting so many Americans of literally every age. We have seen this in young professional athletes. We've seen this 
Yeah, I just spoke to a 22 year old the other day and he figured it out um, by searching online, finding my videos and, and getting more information. He's like, I think I've had this for a long time and he's only 22. And um, we see it in, in young mothers. We see it in the elderly, male and female. Hyaluronic hernia syndrome is not particular, not particular about your age, not particular about your sex, but it can be devastating because when you're not getting enough oxygen, a lot of things happen and it can be a very subtle lack of oxygen. Obviously you're still breathing, but because it's not adequate, that's when heart palpitations start or shortness of breath starts. This young man told me, I love to, ex I love to exercise, but all of a sudden I'm, I'm out of breath. And I think, you know, and he had his heart checked and he had his lungs checked and that's the typical thing. And of course, you want to do that. You want to get your heart and lungs checked when you're having trouble breathing or your heart is beating irregularly or too rapidly or you feel it. You're not supposed to feel your heart beating unless you're really exercising, then it's okay. Um, but when you feel these things, sure, you're you know, running to the doctor and making sure everything's fine. The problem is that conventional medicine tells patients their heart's fine because it is and their lungs are fine because they are, but that's where it ends. And then they say, oh, you're under stress. Here's an antidepressant. And, and that's their go-to over and over and over. So these drugs that have literally life-threatening side effects are the go-to other than chronically giving antacids, which really destroy digestion and don't allow you to assimilate your nutrition. So it's such a dwindling spiral that happens. So this is truly a very, very important topic. And, and we came about it decades ago, just working with patients. And then we started seeing patterns and went, and finally, it was probably five years ago, um, my husband said to me, he goes, I think we have to write a book on this. <laughs> and so it continued to evolve. But if I, there's just so many stories that would kind of break your heart and, and pull at your heartstrings of people who, are suffering and think they're going crazy. I, you know, I spoke to a young woman, probably in her early 30s, and she goes, I feel like I'm going crazy. Like my, my family doesn't know what to do with me. I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm freaked out. I mean, imagine if you woke up in the middle of the night having a panic attack, how happy, how, how excited would you be to go to sleep at night? You, you wouldn't be. And then that anxiety feeds on itself and then all of a sudden, you really think you have a, a mental health problem when it's all stemming from this. So I really encourage you to attend our event. I'd love your support. Um, as I said, remote or local, we'd love to see you of course in person, but uh, remote, it, you will get just as much out of it. And again, we'd love your support. So buy a ticket, get a book, and uh, tell all your friends.